and how race impacts us on a daily basis and how can we do our part in our particular circle to improve that discussion and improve the perceptions surrounding race. Well, now at 6, the City of Tallahassee hosting a Diversity Inclusion Summit. The event is to encourage the community to engage in conversations that spark more inclusion for everyone in the workplace. ABC 27's Candace Blake joins us live from the Civic Center now where the summit's taking place. Candace, how do people feel about this event and how's it helping? Attendees share with me that they've noticed a significant difference in their workplace environment, all thanks to these summits. It's not just about race, but it is about the diversity of different types of people that are now in the workplace, from our younger employees to those older employees, LGBTQ, uh, disabilities, also our service members. Today, the city of Tallahassee hosted their biannual Diversity Inclusive Summit, The Power of Voice. Tallahassee native Jacqueline Steele says that this is her first year in attendance. The HR director feels providing the community the platform to use their voice and speak on issues within the workplace is what attracts to her to the event. So when we talk about just race and diversity, we have a lot of work to do. The Race Relations Summit has been a major event in Tallahassee since the late 90s. What you're seeing is a more diverse crowd out there. Um, there was a time when you went and you saw just black or white. And now we're seeing the community, so that's a great thing. Chief Diversity Officer Angela Hendrith feels that the free event is growing in popularity, with over 250 people in attendance. The event is helping people better understand how to operate within the workplace to help make room for others. I'm here to facilitate the discussion on a film called Race to be Human. Dr. Kenneth Fowler is one of many speakers at today's summit. He's helping moderate discussions surrounding topics such as unbiased communication, understanding microaggression, and understanding social factors. You know, we ask the questions, to what extent are we similar or different? Speaker Mark Slackman has over 20 years of experience when dealing with diversity and feels great strides have been made. Though the question remains for many, is it enough? It's, it's how we can be cognizant of, of the history and recent history and leverage that in a way that can advance the, the larger cause.